Hi, I'm Caroline. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my hobbies, watercolor painting. So if you want to discover your artistic side and do something therapeutic, enjoy this video. First, let me break down for you some watercolor techniques. We need watercolor brushes, cup of water, watercolor palette, and papers. Here are different techniques I'd like to talk about. Starting with wet on wet technique, where you infuse pigments of colors to a wet paper. This technique is used to mix colors together, creating beautiful variations. The colors tend to be light and less vivid. Moving to the wet on dry technique where you apply brush strokes directly onto a dry paper. The results here are more dense since we are using less water compared to the quantity of pigments. The dry on wet technique means your paper should be wetter than your brush. It is used to create subtle details and add depth to your painting. Lastly, the dry on dry technique is when you paint with a very dry brush onto a dry paper. It's a great technique to add texture and sharp details. As you can see, watercolor is a transparent technique. It's a game of pigments and density. Brush strokes are as important in watercolor. Use the tip of your brush to do thin lines. Press on the brush to create thick ones. To transition between thin and thick lines, you have to vary the pressure on the brush. Notice how I start with a thin line, move to a thick one by pushing onto the brush, then to a thin line while lightening the pressure. Repeat the process until you master it. This way, you can easily paint leaves, for example. In my last video, I mentioned that I should create a small piece of art for a cute frame to complete the look of my cozy living room. So let's do this 10 minutes easy art together using these techniques I shared. Here is the wet on wet technique where I infuse pigments such as brown, red, orange and ochre. Waited until it dried. Then, with a thin brush, I painted leaves using the dry on dry technique. I varied the pressure of the brush strokes as I mentioned before. Final touches, et voilà! Wait, there's one last very important tip I'd love to share.